Evening. Drought is a word we've become too familiar with over the last decade. We had a great water year last year, but what about the future? Yeah, well, this year, Utah's legislature gave $12 million to help expand the state's cloud seeding program. New specialist Alex Cabrero was at a meeting today where a mobile cloud seeding station had a lot of people talking. Alex? Cloud seeding is mostly done in the winter months because, well, you need storms and clouds to actually cloud seed. And doing it in the mountains gives you the elevation to be as efficient as possible because you are closer to those clouds. The whole idea is to make it snow more. It seems kind of backwards that fire could help it snow. We can place these anywhere. But every time Garrett Cammons walks into one of these small trailers, he's still amazed by what the technology inside can do. Yes, this does work. Uh, we've been running evaluations for over 60 years. He's talking about cloud seeding, which Utah has been doing for decades. However, these trailers, which are designed by Cammons' company, can be set up in remote areas and operated remotely. The idea is when a storm rolls in during the winter months, the seeding solution inside this trailer is atomized in a burn chamber, then sent up into the clouds, which makes the cloud release more of its moisture in the form of snow. So results in Utah uh, are all pretty consistent. Almost all of our programs consistently see a 3 to 10% increase in water content or snowpack at the end of a season in areas that were seeded. This machine was one of the highlights during Utah's first cloud seeding symposium held at Snowbird today. One question many people always have about cloud seeding is, do states that cloud seed take water away from other areas, like in our case, Colorado and further east? Our best estimates right now are the amount from cloud seeding that's being pulled out of the total moisture in that atmosphere is very small, and so it's pretty negligible effect downstream. It's something that needs to be studied further, though, especially since Utah is going to have about 120 of these mobile trailers in place this winter. About 20 of them were in operation last year to go along with 170 other types of cloud seeding machines. We recognize that we've got to do everything we can to try to enhance the watershed. Um, and this is one of those tools that we have available to us that does make a difference. A lot of scientists will be paying more attention to Utah this winter as we increase the amount of seeding that we do. It is certainly not the solution to our drought, but every little bit helps. In Little Cottonwood Canyon, Alex Cabrero, KSO 5 News.